So for this project, you're going to need a 24 by 24 inch piece of plexiglass. I took my square tool and a erasable marker, and I marked a line every three inches for five marks. And then I took some painter's tape, and I laid the painter's tape across to line up with each mark making a thin line with the painter's tape. And I did this going up the entire board. So when I was done, I would have five rows. I took some black Wiseau paint and a Gen foam brush, and I went on top of the lines I made at each mark. And then I took my blow dryer very quickly because you don't want the painter's tape to stick to the plexiglass. And then I gave it a second coat before pulling up the tape. So now when I pull up the tape, I'm going to have five rows. And once all the tape was peeled up, I allowed my lines to dry. And once they were dry, I took my square tool again. And now I'm going to make my vertical lines and I marked about every 3.4 inches across the entire piece of plexiglass so now I will have seven columns. I then went to the other end of the plexiglass and I lined the edge of the square up with the edge of the plexiglass and then I matched it with the mark I made at the other end of the plexiglass and then I made my line with the erasable marker. And when I am done with this, I should have seven columns. And then I did the same thing with the painter's tape. I used the erasable marker line as my guide, and I just placed the painter's tape across the entire piece of plexiglass. Now, once we had all the painter's tape in place, I took a Gen foam brush and some black Wise Owl paint, and I went over my lines that I had sectioned out. Now, for this step, you just want to stay within the five columns that we made in the previous step. So when we are done, we'll have three inches at the bottom with no lines and six inches at the top with no lines. And then I removed the painter's tape once I had it covered with the black paint. And now you can see that I have a grid with the five columns going up the plexiglass and seven across. So then I took some stickers that I believe I got from Walmart. And at the top of the plexiglass on the front side now, you're going to want to flip it over. The paint lines were on the back side. Now the stickers are gonna go on the front side and I did the days of the week and abbreviations using the stickers at the top of each column. Then I took some Wise Owl dry time paint and then I flipped it back over to the back side of the board and I just rolled the dry time on top. And I did this about three or four coats until it was fully covered. Once that was dry, I went back to the front side of my plexiglass and I took my square tool and I measured about three inches down from the top of the plexiglass and I placed a piece of painter's tape as a guide for my line and I took a, another sticker and spelt out the word month. And this is where you will write what month it is. I then moved to the bottom part of my plexiglass and I laid a piece of painter's tape lined up with the bottom edge of the plexiglass. And this is where I spelt out notes. And now the section on the bottom of the plexiglass will be for any notes that you have.
I then took the Royal Burgundy Prima Redesign Transfer. You could find those on our webpage, chalkitupfancy.com. And I just cut around the piece I wanted to use. And here you're going to remove the transfer from the white backing and lay it down where you want it placed. And I wanted mine in the upper left hand corner. And once you lay it down, there is no peeling it back up. You're going to get your tool that comes with the transfer and you're just going to rub over it. And as you rub, the clear sheet lifts from the image and it is now transferred to your plexiglass. And I took another piece of the Royal Burgundy and I placed the flower in the bottom right hand corner. And I did the same thing, you wanna rub with your brown tool. As you're rubbing, the clear sheet will start to lift and your image is now on your plexiglass. I then went to the back side of the plexiglass where the dry time was painted on and I went over it using the Wyzabel One Hour Enamel Clear. And this will just give it a nice hard finish so the paint doesn't scratch off. And there you go, now you have this fun DIY customizable calendar that we made from a piece of plexiglass. And you can use an erasable marker to write on top of the plexiglass. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products and transfers can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out some other tutorials over on our YouTube and webpage. Have a great day.